Okay, so I am just farming this area and I've been invaded by a dark spirit. And seeing as I am not playing in, uh, as I'm hollow, I think this is scripted. Then again. Shit. Okay, I guess that wasn't scripted. I didn't know you could actually be invaded while you're hollow. This is a new experience to me. So yeah, I think that's a pretty good place to start the episode. I guess. <laughs> so yeah, I've spent the last few hours of gameplay just clearing out this area, gathering a decent number of souls. Um, now, I don't know if I've completely cleared out the area, because uh, I've kind of been going at it semi-methodically. But as you can see, I've got a fair chunk of souls. Um, the middle guy there is just gone, which is awesome. So I'm just going to... Now, all I've been using my bow for is actually just the initial pull on these. And... Uh, I think I just pulled both of them. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, I did. Time to get out of here. So the way I've been doing this is going in, pulling them out, and then running as fast as I can to uh, kind of get them out of their comfort zone. Because if I get far enough away from them, they will turn around and then I can kind of like pull them one at a time rather than pulling both of them at the same time and trying to fight them. Because uh, they're a tough fight when you try and take them together. Oi, get back here. So, um, yeah, two of them together is a tough fight. Just one of them, not so much. And uh, the thing about it is, I want to get in and fight that boss. I also want to find out what's in that chest that he's guarding. I'm kind of hoping it's an Estus Flask shard, because that would be freaking amazing. But we shall see... Right. Funny thing is, I should probably go back and level before I go and fight this boss, because that would be a very intelligent thing to do. So, uh, I'm still hopeless with these ones. They're just so a pain in the ass, so I do wear them down a bit. It's just easier. I don't want to fight you, but before we go on level, I do want to fight you. Now, these guys are a pain in the hole, so I think we'll come down here and we'll come as far away from him as we can, and I'm just going to wear him down because uh, these hide knights, I think they're called, they're just hard as balls. I mean, they're pretty squishy armor wise but <laughs> see what I mean <laughs> it's their move set that's frightening more than anything else they kind of remind me of fighting a 
an actual player. They're a little bit cagey. Oh boy, that was uh, <laughs> kind of painful. Okay, open. Please don't be a trap. You're not a trap. Big money, big money, big money. A ring of ring of binding. Okay, so to be hidden there, it's obviously something important. So, what are you? Um, I've been using the Covetous Serpent Ring. It turns out that this does give you more souls when you kill, which is great. Uh, ring, life ring. Limits HP reduction when hollow. An unusual ring of unknown origin limits the wearer's HP reduction when hollow. Alas, the ring will not make you human. What is lost is not easily retrieved. Hmm. The life ring is handy, but it's not that handy. I think I might swap these out. Because anything that limits your health loss while you're hollow is a good thing. Oh, while I've been doing this, I did find a couple of new weapons. Um... Let's see, is that... Yeah, the Hide Knight Sword. It's not bad. I have to admit, it's not bad. Um, hang on. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to compare it. So, that's the Thief Sword. Hide Knight Sword. It is a drop. A big drop. But it does lightning damage. And that's kind of interesting. Because lightning was always the big go-to uh, imbued damage. But that said, this does, it scales quite well with strength and it scales quite well with dexterity. And also, I just need to check what that actually is. Uh, attribute bonus lightning. So yeah, that's in, and that's my face. Uh, I'm trying to think what else did I find? I, no, not that. Yeah, I had an old knight greatsword drop. Um, it's pretty badass with damage wise but and it's a big catch it is so it lacks so much durability i think that's everything for those i think now dranleek shield i was looking at it and i realized that um while it is heavier quite a bit heavier it actually blocks 100% of physical damage as opposed to 90 so I'm kind of thinking about using it but I need to raise my equipment burden before I do that so um, I don't want to drop I don't want to go above two thirds because I think that will kill my ability to roll I mean I'm currently only mid rolling I think it's very very hard <coughs> excuse me it's very hard to tell exactly what type of role you're doing in this game. I mean, in Dark Souls 1, it was pretty obvious if you were fast rolling or slow rolling or, you know, whatever. But in this one, it's a little bit tougher and I'm still trying to learn the difference between the roles and how they look. Uh, I did look into one thing, which was the agility stat. And it's the only thing I've looked into. And apparently it, it increases the number of invincible invincibility frames and it also increases the number uh, uh, how quickly you consume items so kind of important <laughs> um, now I have loved using my mail breaker but this is like a longer version of it uh, hmm maybe it does more damage it's lighter. Hmm. Ah, we can afford it. We'll buy one of each and, uh. To hell with the consequences. I'll be around if you make it back. We can experiment with them when we're busy. Um. You would Yes, I know. I realized that she has a. Fragrant branch of yore. She's no more of those left. But she has a fragrant branch of yore, so we're going to take that. Because there's a few places I've noticed are blocked by. Um, Thank you kindly. They're blocked by statues, so uh, yeah. Good idea. Um, I'm going to break all of my hard souls, use all. 
because really to hell with it let's if we're gonna go if we're gonna do this let's go large um, I'm gonna keep the pursuer soul because I'm sh I'm assuming we'll meet a either a merchant or a smith who will swap it for a weapon so we're gonna hang on to that for now um, I love the Drang League set it is actually I think out of both games this is my favorite set so far it's just awesome Bearer of the lest this so we will level up uh, we have enough for one two and we're on okay hmm okay so hang on I need to check equipment load maximum weight that can be equipped okay so if I the only thing is I need to get that to 20 and that to 25 it's a tough one it's actually a tough decision here I think for now I'll dump both of those in there I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to go and get the remaining few souls I need to level up once more. And then I'll come back and, yeah, we get stuff done. Back in a few. So, yeah, I got my, uh, <laughs> my little boost. So, I'm kind of in two minds now what to do. I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump. I'm just going to pump up strength once more and then... Get strength, dexterity up to 25 and 20, and I think then we will, no, worry about getting stamina up to 20, getting vitality, and what I'm aiming to do is a very balanced build, one where I can pretty much wield whatever I want. We'll see. I'm, like, I'm not sure how this build is going to work out. It's... It's certainly not a bad build right now. It does a decent amount of damage. It's... It's... Like I said, it's a halfway decent build right now. So, I'm not displeased with it. Okay. No! No! <laughs> okay. And there was me thinking I was going to have a deathless run through. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> Still, at least it's fun. And funny for ye. You know, funny is good. Maybe I should actually try my... Uh... I'm going to get rid of that and I will try my... Not for soldier, not that, not that. Uh, Mail breaker is 90. Yeah, let's try the rape here. Just for shits and giggles, because... Um, let's see. Two, three, four, five. Wow, I can get a lot of hits off. So that could be interesting. Yeah, I'm really kind of aiming, I think, for a heavier weight build, but one that uses maybe faster weapons than I might have used in the past, because, well, fun and shits. And did I mention giggles? Actually, you know something? That's not bad. I mean, it's not great because it hasn't been... Um, had any shards imbued into it, but... It's not bad. Not bad at all. Oi. Not you. God damn it. Oh, 
Oh, that was a mistake. Mistake! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Aha! How dare you turn your back on me, sir! For that, you will... Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Sometimes I realize just how bad at this game I am. <laughs> Usually about the time I keep missing. Okay. I should be able to draw them separately now. Ooh, that is a lot of damage. It's definitely comparable, but I can definitely attack a little bit faster with it. Ooh, that's nice. Okay. It is definitely comparable to the weapons I am using. Oh, hang on. I do not want to fight this one up close because it kicks my ass every time. <laughs> yes, this is cheesy. But you know what? I really don't care because uh, this game kicks you in the ass. Now, a friend of mine, who shall remain nameless at his request, uh, suggested that I... Use something called a bonfire aesthetic in Majula. He said I use it twice. He said if I use it twice, I'll be able to get an armor set that he thinks I'll love. Okay, I didn't even mean to do it that way. And right, um, yeah. He said if I use two bonfire aesthetics in Majula, and he said only Majula. I should be able to get a great, really gr enjoyable move set for myself. I don't know what that means, but uh, yeah, he will remain Duncan. He will remain completely Duncan nameless. <laughs> okay, uh, I am actually going to pop a. Yeah, I'm going to pop a human effigy. Because if there are so signs around here, I wish to take part in jolly cooperation. Aha! Masterless Glencore. Okay, let us partake of jolly cooperation. Is there another one? No, nope, that's it. Come with me and we shall partake of jolly cooperation. Dragon Rider. God, this guy has a lot of a long reach with that weapon. He can't even gauge how far away I am. Okay. I don't know what happened there and I don't care yes another victory via jolly cooperation I I strongly approve of this um, and hey it's, it's another boss down and relatively easy I'm kind of surprised 
light bonfire. Nice. Actually, did I get a soul for that? I'm trying to remember. I don't actually remember. Uh, soul the Pursuer, Soul the Dragon Rider. Okay. Who are you? No, that's not what I wanted. Who are you? Are you from these parts? My name is Lysia. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice of which I am a disciple. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. But the cost of it... <laughs> That's for your heart to decide. Okay. What do you have? Chimes? No. Increases faith. Be fun if I ever go into faith. I am kind of thinking of getting something like the... Like getting my faith up high enough to use something like... Lightning Spear or... Like a big single heavy hitter attack. To either finish a boss with or to start a I'd fight with. i heard awful rumours about this place. The king. Gone. The earth. Ravaged. The burden on the people weighs heavy. What people? I fear that by now they may have scarce room in their hearts for miracles. Why did I come here? Well. Do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of miracles? My preceptor always said this art should be shared with the world, and such is my only wish. I don't believe you. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. It is... Well... I must do this. And being out here all alone only makes this a more fitting test of my fortitude. Is it just me or does she sound full of shit? I expected this cathedral to be bustling, but there's hardly a soul to be found here. Without any goings-on, I'll have to move soon. To a place I could gull the... Sorry. Help the gullible. By teaching the good word. <laughs> yeah, she's full of shit. I expected this cathedral... Okay, to and she's now... So looping. No need for miracles. Now, question is, do I go over there? Oh. Okay. I think those knights are kind of pissed now. So, like I said, the question is, do I go over there and try and fight through to what looks like a dragon? Or do I continue onward? Um, well, first of all, I'm going to go and level up. Because, uh, yeah, that would be a really good idea. And uh, then we'll decide, because, yeah. Talk. Bearer of the curse seeks yes. seek lest the Yes, 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 I know, I know. Okay, um I can get strength to twenty five. Yeah. Now I'm trying to remember what I was getting my strength to twenty five for because I'm damned if I can remember. Um Requirement twenty no 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 I could actually use that now. Cool. I don't remember what I was trying to get it to twenty ah it was twenty two and it was for the Grand Lance. Is that it? Yeah, I think it is. Hmm. 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 Yeah, this is a... <laughs> it's a troublesome one. Um... Actually, I do want to do one thing. No, hang on. I want to do one thing, which is I want to swap that for the... Rapier, the S-Talk. Let's stick with the Rapier for a time. One, two, nice. I've no idea what that's meant to be, but oh well. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And you? I'm always gonna be back for you, love. You've got good stuffs. 
Um, okay, so she has infinite life gems now. And they're reasonably well priced, and actually she has infinite throwing knives as well. Infinite fire bombs. Sorcery only requires 10 intelligence, and she has heal, which is a miracle. She's 12. Um, I presume that needs a catalyst, so... Lowly times, these are. <laughs> yep, they are. Now, I have a few decisions to make. Now, I could go, I think, up that way, and I could find out what's behind that statue. I could go back to Things Betwixt, and there's a statue there as well. Um, actually, yeah, let's go to Things Betwixt and see what's behind the last door in the... Uh, is that what I want to do? No, it's not. No, no. And I'm not going to go and fight that extra, that other boss in, or what looks like another boss in Hyde's Tower of Flame. I'm instead, I'm going to move on and open up a new area. We will come back and fight that boss maybe at the start of the next play session when I'm kind of more prepared for it. To be quite honest, one boss per play station, per play session, not station, play session is uh, enough stress for me, thank you very much. 